Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. Um, so this video is in regards to video response from a viewer who uh, had a question about some Behringer B1030A studio monitors, wanted to know how to hook it up to their computer. Um, so this is just going to be a quick video on how to do that. Um, so I went ahead and got an image of the actual back of the speaker. Uh, so this is what it looks like. And um, you'll notice down here, um, below the input section, there's a, um, a plug here. Um, so there's an XLR plug hookup here. Um, all you have to do basically is connect this directly to a device which enables you to either input sound directly into your computer through the back of that device. Um, also, it lets you play sound back out of your computer um, and through the speaker. So any sound, any sound at all coming from your computer will be played through the speaker. So if you're working with like Logic or Cubase, you'll be able to hear that sound coming through your speakers. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and, and used um, another image here of the Mutu 896 HD. This is the exact device that I have in my studio. Um, just because I know the device, it's, it's easy to explain and it'll just be quick and, and simple. So um, if you look over here on the top left hand side, you'll see that there are two main outputs. So you got left and right, right? So left and right. And you're just gonna take this plug here and you're going to connect it into one here and one here. So your left and your right speakers go there. Okay. Um, then down here, you'll notice this section that says Firewire. It's probably a little hard to see. Um, but all you have to do is connect one of the Firewire hookups directly to the back of your computer. Um, and depending on what kind of computer you're running, you may need to actually um, get a different type of a Firewire connection. Um, for example, when I got my new Mac, I had to actually buy a cable that let me convert it to um, a different type of FireWire. So from the older version of FireWire to, um, I believe it's FireWire 800. Um, let me just double check. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. So um, anyway, so that's all you have to do is basically connect this into here, connect this into the back of your computer, depending on what type of um, FireWire hookup you have. Um, and download the software, the newest software for the Mutu. If you're using um, Logic, actually, not even if you're using Logic. I mean, if you're if you're going to be buying a Mutu, um, then what you need to do is you definitely need to get the software. But there are other models besides Mutu that you can use um, to do this. As long as they have the the XLR plug hookup on the back, um, you'll be able to connect your speakers. Uh, without any problems and it'll sound really good. So um, you can just Google audio interfaces, you know, music, and you should be able to see um, a bunch of stuff pop up. Um, so let's just see. So yeah, lots of different um, audio interfaces here um, that you can use to, to connect, but you just have to make sure they have the right hookups on the back. Um, so you want the XLR plug for your speakers to, to be plugged into. Um, so you can do um, Mutu, and there's a whole bunch here from Mutu. They have different types. Um, as you can see, there's plenty here to pick from. So um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so that is basically it. Um, if you have any other questions about uh, setting it up your, um, your, your speakers, please, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.